Hello everybody, it's Megalithic here and today we're going to take a look at the Pegasi Tauros retailing for a price of $498,000 ladies and gentlemen and as you can see it's an SUV. Okay, entirely underwhelming aesthetically as far as I'm concerned ladies and gentlemen but we'll, uh, we're going to have a look at how it uh, performs once it has been upgraded. Okay, as you can see acceleration not too bad there really. Oops, a daisies and that's for keeping the game away with its car ladies and gentlemen that is its major flaw I'm afraid its handling is absolutely atrocious okay so we're we'll doing it some uh, what sort of speed we can get down here it seems to be moving ladies and gentlemen not doing too bad having a hard time keeping it in a straight line try put down the bottom right corner and we hit the sonic wall okay wouldn't have got around there if I would have had all the time in the world now would be it's absolutely shocking Okay then, so here we go once again, as you can see the acceleration, not too shabby, you know, top end speed there does seem to be moving, but that is somewhat of an illusion it turns out, and that's for cornering, yes, it simply is incapable of it, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, now I should point out that I am a rather awful driver, but I can get other cars around there in a, a relatively good form, you know, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Pegasi Taurus is not one of them. Okay, well there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we've taken on a standard lap, and now we're going to take it on up to Sandy Shore, and up to Sandy Shores, and uh, okay, this is the Karate Bestia, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I should point out that uh, Mr. Raccoon is driving the Taurus there, his name's the Bromby, he has a channel of his own, uh, it's called the Bromby, if you type that into YouTube, you should be able to go and find it, why don't you go and do that, he's got some rather good videos on there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go, this is the Karate Bestia, it's about, uh, about $200,000 more than the, uh, the, than the Taurus there, I do believe, uh, but as as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's leaving it in its wake, isn't it? It's, uh, it's an absolute, uh, absolute uh, sort of walk in the park for it. Okay, we did sort of think that was going to be a closer run than that, so we've given up, ladies and gentlemen, all together. We're just going to uh, humiliate the Taurus. You know, it's uh, clearly not a competitive vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, as one wouldn't expect for uh, from an SUV, you know. Uh, it does bear the Pegasi label, ladies and gentlemen, uh, but in no way is it, a, is it a competitive vehicle, as you can see, against the, uh, the Pegasi Centorno for 725 thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen I have taken a rather bad corner but it wasn't going to change anything as you can see the Zentorno was always going to take it down to the line there we go. Okay, so what do we think of the Taurus, ladies and gentlemen? Is it worth the money? Well, it's only $500,000, you know? So one way of looking at it, maybe it is, you know? Uh, but we're going to go ahead and put it up against the, uh, the Karate Itali GTO. Uh, this is what uh, me and Mr. Raccoon consider to be the fastest vehicle on GTA or online. At least, uh, you know, sort of car anyway, the model, you know, without a boost or anything like that. Uh, we, uh, you know, not in the straight line, technically. The Krieger will beat it, as will uh, the Ocelot Pariah. Uh, yeah, but, uh, Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, around the track, it does seem that the, you know, the Grand Italy GTO does seem to be, uh, uh, does seem to be the, uh, the king of the ring, so to speak. Okay, so what do we think of the Lamborghini of the uh, Pegasi Taurus, ladies and gentlemen? Absolute raspberries, that's what I think of it. Uh, shocking handling, absolutely awful. The only reason to buy it that I can see would be to put it in a Pegasi collection. Okay, uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, it's not really got going much for it other than the price, you know? So, uh, would you, would I, uh, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you're trying to complete a collection. Anyway, uh, well, what's he doing? Sorry, how bloody raccoon. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.